All right, this is Watson's scaphoid shift test. So I will, with my thumb, I will palpate for the scaphoid and I will apply a pressure to it while I grasp also around the patient's wrist. Um, and I wanna apply constant pressure to the scaphoid throughout this test and then I'm going to extend the wrist and ulnarly deviate it. If there's pain with this, it could be a possible fracture of the scaphoid. And then I want to, from here, flex the wrist and radially deviate it. If there is a clunk or clicking sensation, um, that would be a positive test, which could indicate a subluxation of the scaphoid. And then also, when I release my thumb from the scaphoid, if there is excessive movement, that could also be a positive test for um, subluxation of the scaphoid. <laughs>